One of the coolest places we got to visit was Caesarea Maritime, an ancient Roman city right on the coast that actually plays a role in the Bible. Caesarea Maritime is one of the most amazing ruins that's here in Israel. It's right on the coast. You get to see the Mediterranean and realize that it actually plays a role in the Bible. It's actually listed there. I'll show you where. But it also has the Hippodrome and the Amphitheater that are just so cool. <laughs> Let me show you why. Here's our adventures in Caesarea. Yeah, so you're going to see lots of Crusader stuff including walls, arrow slits, arches. Which is not Yeah, can't get marble in Israel, so they would have had to have imported that. This is first century. Very nice. And this is the gate I think we came out of. So this is Crusader stonework here, Joseph. So this is Caesarea, and again you can see the Roman road, the worn stones, polished smooth. Yeah, we will be heading up this way. Notice all the columns, Joseph, they used to line the road. And if you look close, you'll occasionally see the remnants of a post. Like so. So this is the Nifeum here at Caesarea. It's the public sign that's at the center of the city. And it's situated at the intersection where the city's main street meets the Herodian port. Decorative fountain providing drinking water and a place where residents could congregate. You can see that it then heads on into the city. Storerooms are over there. And this direction is restaurants, restrooms. And we will be heading that way in a little bit. Hundreds of miles out there would poor coal have been shipwrecked. How many hundreds of miles? Oh. A ways. How far is Crete from here? So this is the Hippodrome at Caesarea Maritime on the coast. This is where they would have their athletic events, the chariot races, the gladiator fights, if they did those. There were Christians that were arrested and murdered here. It's quite a sight. Okay, you sure you don't need the restroom? No. Okay, because it's right here. This is the Roman latrines. What? Where did it go? We just float on and out. They would uh, use the spaces in between the stones. That's disgusting. And uh, yeah, notice the uh, privacy. The What's that? Gross. That's the latrines. Disgusting. <laughs> Ew. This over here is the other interesting bit of note here at Caesarea Maritime. This is where the Roman fortress would have been. The garrison would have been stationed here. You can kind of see these walls. They are what is left of the garrison. 
So you have the notes here with the sign about Paul having been caused a riot, was sent to Caesarea to be tried by the governor. So this is where he would have been held while waiting to get shipped out. This is it. And as far as where he would have been held, there's basically two rooms. Well, one room. It would have been right there. That's the one room that has an inner door to secure him and keep him from getting out. Now it is interesting there's the remnants of a mosaic there, but that room right there, that would have been your inner door on the left. The stone wouldn't have been there. That was your doorway. And that's where Paul sat until they put him on a boat. It is possible he could have been over in this room, but that's not likely because there's access to outside. So, more than likely, it was right there. In the Roman Amphitheater here at Caesarea Maritime. And this place is just amazing. Especially with how intact it is. Yes, they have done some restoration work here. But it is still really cool. Especially when you realize the acoustics. Are these things in the left or part of it, uh, These are all... Oh, yeah, they'll tell you right over here. The theater. So, a little look at what it. Hmm. Let's see, the only remnants are rows of seats, the orchestra, the stage, and the skinnerfronts, which is an ornamental wall behind the stage. So, this would have been up behind the seats. Okay, that's good. There's something I want to show you. So imagine 2,000 years ago, walking through this arch to come into a performance of whatever it may be, taking a seat here in the theater. Now this stage has been redone. The back walls are no longer there. However, the acoustics in here are still amazing. Okay, so I'm just talking in a normal voice. I can hear you loud and clear. And see, I'm not speaking loud, especially since I'm out of breath after that walk. Okay, so do you want me to do my normal Sir Willow voice? Yeah, go ahead, get your phone out, record this. <laughs> okay, are you ready? I just think it's hilarious that I'm barely talking. Okay. So here's Joseph out there, ready and waiting. You're recording? Okay, so when I record a video, I typically do, Hey, this is Sir Willow. How are you doing today? I'm getting ready to go out to the Roman Amphitheater and do some recording. Notice I have no microphone, and I'm not even actually projecting that loud. I'm just talking a little louder than normal. So, how well can you hear me up there, Joseph? No microphones needed. No amplifier needed. No sound system needed. We could do the whole play right here and everybody can hear every single word said. And like I said, I'm barely projecting. I did my train robberies louder than this. And that was with the microphone. Hey, this is Sir Willow. How are you doing today? I'm getting ready to go out to the Roman Amphitheater and do some recording. Notice I have no microphone and I'm not even actually projecting that loud. I'm just talking a little louder than normal. So, 
Pretty good. No microphones needed. No amplifier needed. No sound system needed. We can do the whole play right here. Everybody can hear every single word said. Now I said, I barely projected I did my train robbery while I was this. So, how cool is that? And by the way, those noticing on my camera, notice how you can hear Joseph and he's not talking loud either. <laughs> it, the acoustics in these places. Okay, so I know what else I should do. Um, let's see. What? Yeah, a, a lot of it is reconstructed. Um, so you see numbers and new stones. But it's following the pattern of the original. So. All right, give me a song. Uh, uh, clap, your clap your hands. Oh yeah, don't fall, the, don't fall down the stairs. But. This is my desire. To honor you. So, a little look at the rebuilt stage. This is where the original was, but um, it's obviously not the original. But it's meant to be based on it, to give you an idea. Yeah, uh, this is amazing. And a little bit of the remnants the original balconies. And then there's a stairway that's going down underneath the modern stage. Oh, cool. And that is an original arch down there. So the actors would have been down below. Ooh. That's cool. Hey, Joseph, perform for Caesar. I can hear you. Okay, that one I can't. But talk in a normal voice. It's a fitness pastry test? Oh, okay. But see, I can hear you. And you're not speaking loud, are you? After spending some time in the city, we actually went out and we enjoyed the sunset right on the beach, right next to the Roman aqueduct. This was just a, a really pretty place. So this is the Mediterranean, right by Caesarea, with the Roman aqueduct right there. And we're gonna go dip our feet in the water, yes. We will officially be in the Mediterranean Sea. Woohoo! So there's Caesarea Maritime. How cool would it have been to do a show on that amphitheater stage? I mean, the acoustics were amazing. I hope you enjoyed this little look at one part of our trip here and one of the things that we got to explore. If you get a chance, you definitely want to check this out. Thank you so much for joining me on this part of the trip. Thank you to my financial supporters, my patrons and YouTube members for helping you make it possible. And thank you so incredibly much for watching. God bless. One of the coolest places that we got to visit was Caesarea Maritime. This is an ancient Roman Rowan? Rowan? Yeah.